Welcome back everyone. Although this course is not going to be about programming, it is good to take a little bit of a look at the code. So let's just go ahead and go up to preview code. As you can see, I've completely wiped everything uh, from my event sheet right here. So let's go to preview code. Now there's a couple things that you need to know about code. And the first thing is that you see all these import um, import libraries here. What this is, is this is very standard with every programming language. In every program language, you have to import all of these libraries in order for your code to work. Now, you don't really need to know what they are. All you need to know is that some of the code that you write down will work and some of it will not, If you, depending on which libraries you import. So as you can see, there's a lot here. And you're more than welcome to Google any of these if you're if you have any questions about them but for the most part all you need to know is that in pretty much every single programming language you need to import these libraries in order to write certain code now let's go ahead and let's go down a little bit here now as you can see we're going to take a look at this public override public function now in stencil here and pretty much every programming language what ends up happening is you have a certain block of code with these curly braces and as you can see in here um, what will end up happening is if you wanted to write some code um, you if you were in the text editor here we could go ahead and write in a code so let's say you know um, let's say shoot projectile and you would write the code in for shoot projectile right here or let's say it's um, display particle effect that's what you end up putting in here and if you take a look if we go back here to the main section here and we just go ahead and we add in a when updating you can see that there is that similar motion here um, or that similar shape we have almost that curly brace here and that's what this is supposed to actually show is this curly brace right here now let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and I'm just gonna add in something right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a number in here preview the code and as you can see um, this when updating listener this is what that code is okay let me add in something else here let's add in a turn and if you want to delete something you can just drag it over to the trash can right there so let's go ahead and just put that in here and we'll put in nine just um, again the number doesn't really matter I'm just showing you how this all works so we go to preview code here you can see that this changed right and if we add both of these in here like this um, you'll see that there's another another set here, right here so as you can see it's this when add when list updated listener is called that's what is going to be uh, it's going to call these right here and that looks a little bit complicated so basically what you need to know is that this right here this always has a certain text code that is put into the code this right here also has text code now depending on which programming language you use this is going to be different so in this case the first one um, is this add when updated listener and as you can see there's this curly brace right here and what ends up happening is that this curly brace and this curly brace are together so between the closed one or sorry the open one here and the closed one here that means that all of this is one section and as you can see there's another curly brace right here and if you go back down here um, or just right over here this second one um, that's when this closes so this one closes here so this curly brace opens this closes and then this curly brace opens and then that closes it so all of this in here is one item let's go ahead and let's just add in another um, item here it says when created and I'm just gonna go ahead and this code won't really work that well I'm just showing you how this all works okay and if we go to preview code here you can see that um, when created there isn't really a function there but basically this this function or this set of code here belongs to this let's add in one more when drawing and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in something right here okay and I'm just gonna add in some numbers because the numbers don't really matter at this point 
and let's go to preview code. And as you can see, this was what we had the first time, this is what was added second, and this is what is added third. So you can see that there's the when drawing, the when updated, and this doesn't really have a header here, and there's a good reason for that, which I'm not going to get into in this tutorial. Um, but as you can see, if this is the when drawing, and if we go back here and we add in a whole bunch of these other items right here, you're going to see that that will actually expand. So you can see all of these items expanded right here. And you, again, this is really cool. If you want to be a programmer, you can go ahead and look at all of these and say, you know, which one, you know, uh, what does what. And if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and type this out yourself. Uh, you can do the best programmers actually don't even um, program in a compiler like this. They actually program with a pen and paper. And if you can do that, that's even better. In fact, most of the tests that I've had in my programming education career have been in text. All right. So as you can see, um, that is how the code works. So everything that you add in here will get added to the preview code. Okay. We'll talk a little bit more about this in the next tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.